Hi, I'm Ranjit, Team Lead Engineer at Genesis Cloud. I'm here to talk about Web Messenger. It's our next-gen client application that you can deploy into your web application. So I will today I'll talk in detail about how you can deploy this into your application and uh, how you can configure and, and things like that. So to get started, uh, this is the documentation page and it, it also has uh, some other links on the left hand side if you see you can it, it explains how you can configure uh, what are the prerequisites and what are all the languages it supports and uh, uh, things like that and it also explains about deployment you can go through this uh, but today I'll just um, briefly demo you uh, in, uh, in, 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 in a much easier manner so this requires admin UI. It's the this is the page that typically it looks like. So and in, in here you'll have to open admin and look for messenger. So on the on the right hand side uh, you have two options: um, messenger configurations and deployment. So you'll need both of these. And uh, at the end of this step, you will be given uh, a snippet, a messenger snippet that you'll just have to copy paste into your web application. So I also have some dummy web running, application running. So we'll see how we can integrate uh, messenger into this. So the first step would be to create a configuration. So go ahead and uh, under this create a configuration. give it a name I'll say Ranjit demo and description is optional so now the you have to choose the options that you want so for instance if you want to show launcher button uh, you'll select this or if you don't want you'll simply select that or on demand is more or advanced version so I'll keep it on for now and then you can also choose the color of your messenger application. If I, let's say that I'm choosing something almost red and then you'll now next choose the languages that you want to support in your messenger. So let's say I choose some set of languages. So typically this, these are the languages that a messenger can run uh, with all the options that you choose. And by default, I'll keep it English. So um, based on the, the language that you selected for your browser, the appropriate language is going to be populated if that language is uh, selected here. So I'm gonna save this version. So before I save a version, I'm clicking on save draft. And, and, and before, also uh, there is an, another option for allowing file attachments. Uh, by default, it's allowed. You can choose if you want or want it to. So and then, um, now I'm going to save a version because I'll, I can choose that version in my next step under deployments. So it should almost be done by now. Give it a couple of more seconds. All right, there we are. So now we have our configuration and it's active. So let's get into the next step, create a deployment. Let's go ahead and uh, click on it. And then let's name it whatever you want. So I'll say run shit, demo, deploy. And this way I keep it in sync. And uh, yeah, so this is the step that you'll need to do. So now in this step, you have to select your configuration. So remember I named it Ranjit Demo. So I'm gonna select that one and I've saved a version. So that's the version I want and save it. And next, uh, this is an advanced version where you uh, basically allow configurations to run 
you allow messenger to run only in that domain so for now i'll keep it to all for the demo purpose I believe now uh, this is something that uh, you can choose depending on your needs so i'm selecting web messaging flow and save sorry for this i have to run here and there all right so now everything is ready so now the deployment is success and it also gave us our deployment id uh, that you will typically use in your code snippet so this is the code snippet that is generated for us so what we'll have to do is copy this and paste it into our web application uh, in that way messenger will show up there so now that i have an application already running and its corresponding code is this so in a typical scenario uh, things like single page applications there is going to be one main page that will load all the necessary files and uh, make it available in all of its pages so and considering that in mind so this index.html is the place where i want to paste my code snippet or uh, in, in other cases if there if there is an application that has multiple pages then in that case you'll have to uh, make sure that you uh, add this code snippet in all of those pages individual pages in that way messenger can um, load in all of its pages so now go inside the header and uh, uh, copy paste this uh, snippet that we just copied there so and uh, yeah so it it has even the deployment id everything set up so all i have to do is save it and now if we go and see uh, here it is so we already have the messenger being loaded Now uh, just open it. So now you can start your uh, uh, conversations by sending a message. And uh, you should typically receive it on your agent side too. So I'll make my agent available. Here it is. So I already got the invite. Hi. and there you go so now you have successfully integrated a web messenger into your application yep um, so it will continue uh, conversation so the next thing is more on other options that I was saying so I'll end this Uh, if we go back to our, if we go back to our uh, search for it, messenger. So under configurations, uh, you can change your colors and things like that. Let's say change my color to something. Blue. Save a new version. So now that we saved a new version, uh, we'll have to select the, this new version in our deployment. I believe it's going to be version two, since previously it was version one. So let's go back into the deployment and select this is the one and select assignment right so this is the one and version 2 go ahead and save it
and once that is saved successfully and it should go active it may take a couple of seconds but once that is up and running then you should be able to see um, the color that you picked or it is it's already applying so in that way you can change the configurations accordingly and then uh, uh, get it reflected uh, even this uh, there is an option to um, hide the file attachments right now it's enabled and so you can pick and upload a file so in a nutshell that's about uh, web messenger uh, it's it, it's pretty straight and easy to start with uh, there is no much code involved all these steps needed here is to copy the code snippet and then um, add it into your web application i hope this helps uh, if any questions please feel free to reach out to us thank you